Hi, it's Bruce again at uh, FighterKiteCentral.com and today I thought we'd talk about uh, kite skin material, uh, polyfilms primarily and uh, some of the things that can be done with them. Quite interesting for kite uh, decorating and to uh, change the characteristics of the kite itself. Now the way a polyfilm is made is uh, it begins as a clear film and that's what we're looking at on the back the silver side if you have a metallicized uh, piece like this is it's colored on one side silver or gold on the other whatever they use but they start with a clear film the clear film is then coated with an aluminum or uh, some other metallic uh, ink and on top of that ink they then print basically uh, the color. In this case blue and in this one below it it's uh, red. Now interestingly you can change, you can remove the color and you can change the color characteristics uh, with acetone. Uh, you can buy acetone at any paint department uh, any store, by the quart, by the gallon, whatever. You don't need much of it, but it really is a, an effective way to change the appearance of what otherwise is quite plain polyfilm. What I'm going to do today is uh, show three different things. The first, and these are all very simple, and uh, don't always produce what I would call artistically aesthetic results <laughs> but sometimes they do and uh, when they do that's great so I'm just going to uh, use my acetone here and I'm just going to squirt it on uh, this piece here in whatever kind of random amount there then I'm going to lay the blue right on top of it and I'm going to smooth it out doesn't have to be smooth. As you can see, it's got wrinkles. doesn't really make too much difference. And the other thing we can do, in addition to this, uh, is that we can wad all this up into a ball and crush it together. And uh, it'll change the effect. But what we're doing, that acetone melts the ink. And after it's on there for a short time, and it kind of depends, you have to judge the time a little bit based on just experimenting with it and uh, it transfers some of the color from the blue onto the red now when the acetone dries which it does quickly uh, this could be ready to use for a, a kite skin. Now, looking at this, I would say, well, it doesn't look like much. And <laughs> you'd probably agree, it doesn't. In this case, it didn't do very much. Sometimes it's uh, like this, sometimes it's a little different. And what I'm gonna do now is add a little more of the uh, acetone. And I'm simply gonna fold this over and wad it up. I'm going to crush it together in a wad several times. And whether I use acetone to change the coloration or not, I often will do this before making a kite to create a skin that is wrinkled and then and you can see here, it changed the uh, effect of the red. It uh, took some off some areas and didn't take it off in others. The amount of blue that we had originally didn't seem to change much. Uh, but in wrinkling the skin, after I do that, if I'm going to make a kite with the skin, uh, I squirt the surface of the I use glass. Uh, I squirt the surface with water 
and then lay the material onto the wet glass and smooth it out and that, that water will hold it and then I can uh, work with it, cut it and what have you uh, that way. It makes a very, very easy way to secure the film so it doesn't slip around because it is kind of slippery and uh, doesn't do anything to harm the film. And you can see the acetone isn't quite dry. It left some of the ink on the glass. Another thing we can do, and you can do this on a kite, in fact I think I will do it on a kite that we made the other day. You can use a piece of masking tape, for example, and uh, make a pattern, or not even use masking tape, doesn't really matter. I'm just going to put a stripe along here. If I can get the tape to cooperate. Mask off an area and uh, I think I'll take it off of the other piece here. So we have a, uh, or we will have here, hopefully. Gee, look. What you want to do is have a as good a seal as you can on the area that you're going to uh, be using the acetone on. And uh, maybe we'll do it, uh, how will we do it here? We'll do it this way. Just to show you. And then what you do is use either, uh, this is a piece of, of cotton, you can use a piece of uh, uh, paper towel, works great too and just rub between and you can see that that blue ink comes right off leaving the silver which makes a really nice contrast and is very quick to do and we'll see what we get here in terms of results Well, we just have a kite with a basically silver stripe. Now, if we wanted to, we could make that stripe or another place maybe on the kite. Uh, if you continue to work the material or your acetone, for example, here, I'll use, just use a piece of this to show you. Uh, if you rub it with acetone, it takes the color right off. If you continue to do it, it takes the silver off as well. And you wind up with a clear area on your kite. And so you have really three different uh, ideas that you can use for changing the coloration on your kite skin from clear to silver to whatever the original color was. And that gives you quite a range of uh, decorating capability with something that's really a simple uh, material otherwise and very plain. So I hope this helps and uh, gives you some ideas to work with on your next kite.